headed up to the bottom of the bridge. Yep, so far. soaked it is raining and pouring this morning it is absolutely bucketing down rain and we had to get the kids to school so it was quite the exciting and a little bit scary run across town in this uh, in this heavy rain there was lots of uh, splashing I think the kids thought that that was excellent fun watching all the water spray out everywhere but everyone has been dropped off now to school and I'm going to head home and clearly this kind of weather is not going to help my laundry situation so I'm gonna to have to go home and get some washing into the dryer and get that started but wow this rain is so heavy this is just the fringe of this rain event that is coming through southeast Queensland at the moment so we're actually getting the lighter rain we're not getting the really heavy stuff that's down near Brisbane and the Gold Coast way um, so there will be lots of people uh, with areas that are flooding. So I hope everyone stays safe through that. But uh, yes, and I must say I was really impressed with everyone on the road today. I didn't see anyone driving dangerously. Everyone was sort of driving to the conditions, which was excellent because normally you see at least a few that are, you know, speeding in the rain or, or being silly in the water. So now that everyone is where they need to be, this mum is going to head home, get a hot cup of coffee. I'm going to put the washing in the dryer because it's definitely a day to stay indoors. And I'll see you back at home. So our swimming pool has overflowed and as you can see it's a nice shade of brown 
Back in the 2011 floods, the retaining wall from next door let go and uh, filled our pool full of dirt and gravel. Uh, this time, thankfully, it's holding up and it's just dirt that's going into the pool. But it's overflowing and the shed has now flooded. I just got a phone call from my daughter, so I've got to go. And her car's broken down in the rain, so I'll go pick her up and get her to where she needs to be. All right, got to go. See ya. Drive forward first, see what this car is doing, and you'll start. That is the wrong way to drive, man. Oh, good. Emergency, emergency. This is an emergency warning notification for the Toowoomba Regional Council. Flash flooding is occurring in the Toowoomba Regional Council area. Uh, Toowoomba Regional Council roads and bridges are impacted, and everyone in Toowoomba local government area is urged to stay up to date with the latest information on bomb. For flood assistance, contact the SES. 
and loosen the lug right here. Can you send a message through to Dad to find out where he's working? Can you do that? That's no car park over there completely underwater. Yeah. Mm. Let's just call Dad. So you can't go that way? We've got to go straight into the ocean. Where's that coming from? throughout Toowoomba and there's a lot of streets that are blocked off now so um, I've just got to figure out the best way to get home uh, where I'm not going to get stuck near one of the creeks that are overflowing at the moment. I'm hopeful, I think this street hopefully should be okay. I, I don't want to get stuck someplace where I might have to turn the bus around because the bus is very difficult to um, to maneuver. She's a big beast, so she needs quite a bit of room to move and to turn. So everybody else seems to be going down that street. So I'm hopeful that that's, um, that's safe to go this way. say when there's um when there's a lot of water on the roads those are the moments that I'm happy I'm in the bus and driving the bus because it would be way scarier I think in a car that is closer to the ground it's good to see everyone driving slowly though and being very careful mm, some cars are turning off but I know that the street either side of this has big dips down where the creek runs through so um, do not ask me how I'm going to pick up the kids from school this afternoon if the creek beds don't go down we have two creeks that actually run right through the center of Toowoomba and they are the ones that flood and um, they're the ones that flooded and caused all the problems during uh, 2011. Sitting here for a long time, it's making me very concerned. Is it that we can't get through this way? And there are lots of cars turning off from side streets, and that tells me that some of these uh, these creek areas are well underwater. What a day! And I still haven't got that washing in the dryer yet. <laughs> It's been been quite the morning. I did grab the coffee, but I didn't get the washing in the dryer. I've just been um, trying to help out my daughter where the car broke down and just it's taking me a good what about an hour and a half to navigate my way back across town. Oh, there's lots of cars turning around. Can we get through? Can we get through? I think we can get through here. truck in. Now I can't see <laughs> where I'm headed. <laughs> oh, wow. Good grief. Oh, yeah. Good grief. Oh yeah, well, I want to see a little more get the room. Yep, no worries. Okay. Okay, bye. bye. So I just got a message from my daughter and her hairdressing salon is underwater. So we're gonna have a big clean up over the weekend.
Well, it has been quite the day. It has continued to pour really heavy all day and we've had lots of areas through Toowoomba that have flooded. Now, I mean, Toowoomba is on a mountain top. We're on the top of the Great Dividing Range and you wouldn't expect it to flood up here, but it certainly has again. And we've had many streets um, closed and cars underwater. So it's been quite, um, quite a scary sort of a day as far as the weather goes. Our daughter's hair salon uh, got flooded as well. So she had water go right through the shop. So it's full of mud. So there'll be a bit of cleanup there as well. There is more rain headed this way. This, this big rain event is going to be here for quite a few days. So I hear that there were sirens that went off uh, in some of the smaller towns around Toowoomba, um, warning people to evacuate and get to higher ground. So very scary for those folks. I hope everyone is safe. Our family's safe. I've checked in with everyone and everyone is doing okay. Um, for right now, we're going to try and get back across town and pick up some kids from school and then we're going to go home and have something to eat, get warm and dry and we'll let you know that we get home safely. See you next time. God bless.